Hey, what is up, uh, you wonderful people? Uh, I got another video for you. This is gonna be a quick one, and we're gonna be talking about the gradient tool in Affinity Photo. Now, gradients allow you to basically blend colors together on your canvas or in your text or your shapes to kind of add a little bit to them and blend them together, make them look kind of cool. But uh, well, let's, let's just get started. Let's get right to it. Now, I like to always reset my studio to default, just in case you wanna follow along to make sure your screen looks like my screen. And you can do that by going up to Window, Studio, and Reset Studio. Okay, so your gradient tool, where is it? It is located on the left-hand side in your tools, and it's this one right here. Looks like kind of like a, I don't know, like a paint bucket with a line in it. I don't know how you'd describe that. Um, anyways, what I wanna start with is a blank uh, color, and I wanna add a gradient to it to show you how the basics of it, how it works. So I wanna fill this screen with a color. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a fill layer by going up to Layer, New Fill Layer, and uh, it's giving me white by default, which I don't want. So I'm gonna change this fill layer. I'm gonna go to my color tab here and change it to like something brighter, maybe like this, maybe like a blue, like maybe like this. All right, cool. So I got my fill selected here in my layers panel. I'm gonna go over to my gradient tool right here. When I click on that, you see my mouse changes to this little gradient icon. And all I'm gonna do is I want the color to vary from the top left to the bottom right. So I'm gonna click here and just drag down. And you can see when I do this, I have a circle up here, a circle down here, and a bar in the middle. And this bar, if you move it back and forth, controls the intensity of the gradient from either color. Um, this bar, uh, you may have used it if you saw my video on masks. This is how you use masks as well. If you don't have, uh, if you haven't seen that video and you don't know about masks, guess what? I got an awesome video on it, which I'm gonna link below. Go get yourself some knowledge, learn about masks, because they are super, super powerful. But back to this. Okay, so I got this selected. Now what you're worried about for changes are up in the toolbar at the very top. So here you have type where you can change the type of gradient and you won't see too much of a change here when I pick this. But if you look at the screen right now, you'll see it slightly changes, but there's different options and different settings you can mess with um, for the type of gradient. The next thing you're worried about is the actual uh, color of it. So there's like a color and the bar. this bar here is the same bar you saw on the screen there. If you drag it back and forth, it controls the color. I can change the color of either of these now by clicking on the circle. So if I click on this circle and I go down to color and click on color, it's gonna give me a color wheel and I can change it here. So I've changed this one and I'll go over to this one and say I wanna change this color. I've got this one selected. I go to my little color here and I'll change it to this. Now, I can also add other points in here. So this bar, wherever it is, so say I go here and I wanted to add another color in there, a third color, all I gotta do is go to insert. So now that I've inserted, you can see I've got a third color in the middle. I'm gonna click on, or it's selected already, but I've got it clicked on. I'm gonna to go to my color, and I'm just gonna make it something so you can see it really. Maybe like a green or something. And then again, you can control these bars as to how much you actually wanna see of each color. So that's the basics of making a gradient. Let's add it maybe to some text to see how that works. Okay, so I'm gonna draw out some text here. So I'm just gonna say, hey, drag that out here. All right, I'm gonna change the color of this text to something different. Maybe, yeah, let's go red. So I got red selected here. So now I'm gonna grab my gradient tool. And this time I'm gonna maybe make the gradient go from the bottom left to the top right. So I'm gonna click on that. And again, you can see I have the two colors and I have the bar that I can slide on each side to control the intensity of each color. I'm gonna change this by going up to my, uh, to my um, gradient uh, option, my color option up here. And same thing, this bar does the same thing. I'm gonna add another point by clicking insert. I'm gonna click on the, uh, new color, go down to color here, and I'm just gonna add a different color. Let's add this uh, this color here, whatever, maybe this one. And uh, if I don't like it, I can always click on it and I can delete it. So that's the main idea of adding gradients. I wanna show you with a shape as well because you can make some more sort of 3D looking shapes by using gradients and shadows. And I'll just do a quick example. So let me grab a circle. I'm gonna draw out a circle here. I'm gonna make it say, maybe I want like a cool blue like a cool blue, this blue ain't that cool. Let's do something maybe like this. Okay, so I just wanna show you this. So I have this circle, I'm gonna duplicate this um, by hitting Command J, just so I can show you what it looks like before and after. So I'm gonna leave this one on the left alone. So this one here, I'm gonna add a gradient to this circle. So let's go up to my gradient tool here. I've got my circle selected. I'm just gonna click from the top right and drag down. I'm gonna pull the shadow or the gradient down here. So it looks like there's a little bit of a shadow at the bottom here. So um, nothing crazy, but just to give it a little bit of realness, okay? So I'm gonna do that. So, so far you see I have 
this circle with nothing on it, and this one has a bit of a gradient at the very bottom. Now, I'm also going to go to my effects, and I'm going to add a little bit of a shadow to this. So I'm going to go to my effects tab here. I also have a video on effects and a bunch of other stuff if you want to check my channel out. But I have this one selected, and what I'm going to do is add an outer shadow. So I'm going to click on this, and I'm just going to bring these up a little bit. So my radius, my offset, my intensity, just until I start to see a little bit of a shadow, nothing crazy. I don't want it to be too overwhelming. Okay, so here we go. So now I have this circle, which looks flat. Now I have this circle, which has a bit of a gradient on it with some shadow and an actual drop shadow underneath it as well. I'm going to add one other thing. So I'm going to go over to my shapes here, and this time I'm going to select this um, crescent tool. I'm just going to click, drag that out. And right now it's the same color. I'll move it so you can see it as the gradient because it's the last thing I used. I'm going to change this to like a white or a gray. Maybe I'll make it white, grayish white. I'm going to drag it back on here. And this time I'm going to go to my um, live filters, which I just did a video on live filters. Check it out. I'll try to link it below. I'm going to click on this. And this one, I'm going to add a Gaussian blur or a Gaussian blur, some people say. Now, my Gaussian blur has been attached to my crescent. And what I'm going to do is bring this blur up, 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 just so it gives a little bit of shine there. Nothing too crazy. And now you can see between these two, if I drag this down maybe like this and like this, between these two, this looks like a flat circle. And this one now looks more like a ball. There's a couple additional things you can add. I don't want to get too crazy here, but these are the things you can do with just some minor effects and adding a gradient to really bring things to life. So I hope this was helpful to you in some way. And if it was, because you know, I'm a YouTuber these days, can I ask you, please, please, would you just mind tap, 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 over to that like button and just give it a tap for me. And if you haven't seen my videos or if you've seen them before, but you haven't subscribed, what are you doing with your life? Come on, subscribe, join the gang. Not an actual gang. And uh, I got more stuff coming, so I appreciate you watching. If you got any questions or comments, leave them below. I'll get right back to you. And thank you so much for watching.